In this video, we'll discuss problems and conceptual exercises of chapter 3 from the book James Walker. So this question seems to be a very large question but it's a pretty simple question. It says to visit your favorite ice cream shop you must travel 490 meter due west and then 950 meter due south. So first I'll be drawing this vector and one more thing uh, I'll be taking this direction to be positive east and no, uh, this north. So west and south will be negative. Okay now 490 meter do west so this would be this direction this is the 490 meter and this is let this be vector a now next then you move 950 meter due south so the vector would be like this let uh, this vector be b now uh, there are three parts that we need to solve. In the A part, we need to find the total distance traveled by you. So total distance would be, let me represent it with D. So this would be the magnitude of vector A plus the magnitude of vector B. So its magnitude for vector A is 490 meter plus for vector B it is 950 meter. So that should be equals to 1440 uh, meter, 1440 or we can write 1.4 kilometer. So this would be the answer for the A part. Now uh, then we can solve the B part and in the B part we need to write your displacement vector in the unit vector notation and we have to take that the unit vector along the east is x cap and the unit vector along the uh, north is y cap okay now initially you traveled 490 meter towards west which is in the negative direction as per our sign convention so the displacement vector r is basically a vector plus b vector now a vector would be uh, this is minus 490 meter x cap it's along the negative x now then uh, plus this is 950 along south so this should also be negative minus 950 y cap and we can write that this will be our displacement vector r and the answer for the b part now next uh, we can solve the C part where we need to write the displacement vector required to return to your starting point. Okay, so this was your starting point. So this should be the displacement vector required to return uh, to your starting point, right? Now observe one thing. This vector, this red one, this vector is R which is the summation of a plus b and the blue vector is just the opposite of the r vector so we can write that your return uh, displacement vector r return this should be negative of r vector because just the opposite same magnitude but direction is opposite so from here we can easily write our answer so your return vector is equals to negative of r means negative and r we have minus 490 meter x cap plus minus 950 meter y cap so this negative this negative and this negative will become positive and we'll get the final answer to be 490 meter x cap plus 950 meter y cap so this will be the final answer for the C part. Now in this question uh, it is given that you drive a car 1500 feet to the east and then 2500 feet to the north and the total time for the trip was 3 minutes. 
Now we need to find the direction and the magnitude of your average velocity. It's a pretty simple question. So uh, let me take that the unit vector along the east direction is x cap and along the y direction is y cap. Fine. Now first you travel 1500 feet to the east. So your vector will look something like that. This would be your vector. Let this be R1. Now then you travel 2500 feet to the north. So your vector will look something like that. Let it be R2. Now we need to find the average velocity. Okay. So we studied that the average velocity is nothing but displacement vector over the elapsed time delta t. This is what we studied. Now what would be your displacement vector? This should be your displacement vector that is delta r. Now we can represent delta r by using the unit vectors. So delta r this would be equals to r1 vector plus r2 vector. So r1 we have uh, 1500 feet in the east. So 1500 x cap plus r2 would be 2500 y cap, right? And uh, delta t we already know it is 3 minutes. Now uh, uh, we can do one thing, we can first find the, the, the magnitude of delta r which will be equals to under root 1500 square plus 2500 square and this comes out to be as uh, nearly uh, 2900 feet and if you convert it into meters you'll get your answer to be nearly 890 meter right now it's pretty simple the magnitude of uh, the average velocity will be let me write here this is the magnitude of average velocity delta r over delta t. Delta r we have 890 meter and time we have 3 minutes. If you convert minutes into seconds multiplied with 60 that much of seconds. On further solving you will get this answer to be 4.90 meter per second. Now this is your uh, magnitude for the average velocity. Now what would be its direction? The direction will be same as that of the displacement vector. So this angle theta, if you are able to calculate this angle theta, you can easily tell the direction. So this theta, we can write that uh, tangent theta, R2 over R1 and R2 we have 2500 and R1 we have 1500. So from here we can easily find theta and theta comes out to be as uh, nearly 59 degree. So this angle is 59 degree. So this is 59 degree north of east, right? So we can finally we can write the answer that theta or the direction for the average velocity is 59 degree north of east. Now uh, in this question uh, we are given that you throw a ball straight upward with the initial speed of 4.5 meter per second and after time t equals to 0 0.92 seconds the ball returned with the same speed in the downward direction we can assume that air resistance can be ignored now we need to find the average acceleration this is what we need to find now it's a pretty simple question we can give the answer straightforward as soon as the ball leaves your hand the ball is in free fall and the only acceleration of the ball is due to gravity so we can say that the answer should be 9.81 meter per second squared that is the acceleration due to gravity and its direction is always in the downward direction okay this is straightforward we can give the answer but i'm going to prove it mathematically also so uh, we studied that the average velocity vector it's nothing but the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the elapsed time we can say it to be t right now initially uh, the ball is moving like this 
with a speed of 4.5 meter per second and then after uh, 0.92 seconds the ball comes down with the same speed 4.5 meter per second so let this be the initial uh, velocity and let this be the final velocity now uh, we are taking that this is our positive direction and this is will be negative direction right so uh, the final velocity is in the downward direction so this would be minus 4.5 y cap it's the unit vector along the y direction this is your y direction and this is your x direction right now the initial velocity vector this would be a 4.5 y cap it's uh, because the initial velocity is in the upward direction so 4.5 plus 4.5 y cap now you can put all the values here so the average acceleration this will be equals to final velocity we have minus 4.9 y cap and this is minus vi is plus 4.5 so 4.5 y cap divide by time is 0.92 and on further solving you will get this answer to be minus 9.81 meter per second squared and y cap now what this negative sign denotes it denotes that uh, the average acceleration is in the downward direction so this is the final answer now in this question we are given that in a soccer game a midfielder kicks the ball with a velocity of 14.0 meter per second x cap so x cap is basically unit vector in x direction so we are taking this is to be x direction and this is the y direction okay so he kicks like this with a velocity of 14.0 meter per second and after the ball travels for 2.50 seconds a striker makes and kick that gives a ball new velocity in wide cap direction okay so here there's a player who kicks this ball in this direction and that's a goal and uh, after 0.9 seconds the ball passes the diving goalkeeper and goes to net so here uh, the time took uh, by the ball to reach from this position to this position is 0.9 zero nine seconds if the total displacement of the ball is 40.2 meter what it is talking about that this total displacement this is 40.2 meter and this angle is 29.5 degrees then we need to find at what speed did the striker kick the ball so uh, to find the speed if we are able to find this distance this delta let it be delta y and let this be delta x if we are able to find this distance delta y we can easily calculate the speed okay so uh, first we're going to find this delta x now the, the midfielder kicks the ball at this speed 14.0 so delta x would be speed multiplied with time and time it took to reach at this position is 2.5 seconds so multiplied by 2.5 seconds so that comes out to be as 3.50 meter so this delta x is 3.50 meter now this triangle is a right angle triangle so we can use our pythagorean theorem to find the delta y okay so uh, we can write that 40.2 square it will be equals to delta x square plus delta y square we can write this by using the pythagoras theorem now from here uh, we can write that delta y square is equals to 40.2 square minus this delta x square I can take it here so this would become minus this is delta x we have 3.50 and it's square so on further solving uh, we'll get the value of delta y to be 19.8 uh, meter so this value comes out to be as 19.8 meter now it's pretty simple now we studied uh, we know basically that uh, speed is distance over time right now the distance traveled by the ball is delta y which is 19.8 in the y direction this is 19.8 
divide by the time now time it took to uh, to reach to the net is 0 0.9 seconds that is given in the equation so this is 0 0.9 seconds so on further solving we will get this value to be 22.0 meter per second therefore the striker kick with a speed of 22.0 meter per second in the y direction so we can write sy also so this would be the solution for this question mm -hmm.